We're back in the bell pepper greenhouse and as you guys could see the plants have grown like crazy since the last video and there is a lot of work that needs to be done. So today we're going to be doing some crop work. We're going to be pruning some of the side branches and we are going to be securing the branches to the string and we're a little bit behind on this and as you guys could see over here we did lose a plant because it just simply fell over and snapped at the base so that's too bad but mistakes happen and we just keep moving on so if we look at this plant here we could see everything's growing really nice we have a nice bell pepper growing at the bottom here and we have more that are being grown near the top so we'll just get right to it and i'll show you guys how we clip our plants to the strings and how we continue to prune the crop so what I use to clip the peppers to the string is these tomato clips here and how they work is you could just secure it right to the string like that and it doesn't move up and down. So each plant will get two of these clips because we have two branches and then after that we will just continue to twist the branch around the string. We're going to get the main stem on this side and we are going to clip the string right to the plant just like that and then the next step we're going to do is twist the plant around the string as the plant continues to grow we will twist it in the same direction and we'll need to twist it around the string about once every single week and the next step we're going to do is we are going to prune this side branch because with this crop we are only growing two stems and we are pruning every single side branch as they grow so i'm already a little bit behind on this i should have done this a week ago so on this stem here we need to prune this side branch and also this side branch we have our snips here and we are just going to start with the first side branch and we are going to cut off the growing head along with the flower on this side branch so just like that we'll cut that off and what remains is this leaf right here so that's what we want to do we want to cut the growing point on the side take off the flower and keep the leaf so we'll just continue with this side branch here we're going to go like this cut off the growing point the flower and leave the leaf and this leaves just the main stem growing here and the flower on the main stem so these are the only flowers we're going to keep as the plant continues is the ones that come off of the main stem here all side branches will be cut just like this one there is a number of benefits from pruning our plants like this and they include crop consistency when it comes to harvesting better airflow with the crop uh, keeping our walkways nice and clear so that we could do uh, crop work and harvesting it also makes our fruit higher quality because just allowing the fruit on the main stem here will produce the highest quality fruit and also if we were to allow some of these bell peppers grow on the side branch what often happens is the weight from the pepper will actually just snap off the branch anyways so that's why we only allow our plants to produce the fruit on the main stem. And when you do this, you really see really good results with crop consistency and quality. One of the things I wanted to show you guys is how large and healthy looking this leaf is. This is a result of a vigorously growing plant and a plant that's in a good balance between a generative and vegetative state. So if we allowed the plant to grow too many peppers right off the start it would go into a generative state and this leaf would actually be a lot smaller so one of the problems with that is the plant obviously won't photosynthesize as much because it doesn't have as much biomass and also this is really important the leaf won't shade the pepper and if the pepper is getting direct sunlight 
what can happen is the fruit will actually heat up too much and we could get what's called sun scold. So this is when the fruit basically, it looks like a rotten spot and it's from the cells dying because the sun has simply just heated up the fruit too much. So having good leaf coverage and large leaves is really important to protect the fruit. So the other thing that happened when I let too many peppers set on the plant at the beginning was the plant actually just ended up aborting flowers higher up on the crop. So I had a section where I wasn't harvesting very many peppers for a week or two and this is really not good for the crop and also when you start getting flushes like that where we get a whole bunch of peppers at once and then none for a while it's actually very difficult to get the plant back in a balance between a vegetative and generative state and oftentimes we'll see the plant will start growing in all types of weird ways and we just won't get the quality and efficiency that we're looking for. Okay, let's prune the rest of the crop and attach the stems to the string and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So another thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna move this irrigation barrel outside of the greenhouse. The reason we have it inside the greenhouse right now is because early in the season, it's too cold outside and we don't want to be feeding our plants freezing cold water. But now that the season has got warmer, the water is actually getting way too warm. And if possible, we want to keep our water below 70 degrees because this is the best way to keep our water fresh and it prevents uh, harmful bacteria from growing in our water. We have the barrel outside of the greenhouse now and what I do is I'll fill up this barrel here with water and then I'll mix my nutrients and then as I need I'll pump the water into the feed barrel here. So this barrel here has a half horsepower pump connected to the irrigation line and right here is a filter that's important to stop the drip emitters from getting clogged and if we go into here this is the timer that controls the pump. So if we turn it on, we'll see that the water comes out of these drip emitters. So these plants get watered multiple times per day and the irrigation will change based on how much the plants are growing and how large they are. So as the season goes on, we'll be adding more irrigation events throughout the day. And each event is roughly around two to four minutes. With the growing method we're using here, we want to try to keep our root zone near 100% saturation during the day. So between each irrigation event, we only want a slight dry back in the root zone. And when it comes to the nighttime, we do stop our irrigation and there is about a 30% dry back. And then the next day we will resaturate the root zone and try to keep it near 100% saturation during the day. And this is really important for this type of system and this is how you get the best growth out of your plants. All right, we're all done pruning and securing the plants to the strings. And that's pretty much all we're going to do in the greenhouse today. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them and I'll see you in the next video.